Hey everybody, welcome back to Learn with Parka. I'm Chanel. And I'm Kelly. And we're here, as you know, to bring you marketing insights for the staffing and recruiting industry. We're excited to be kicking off our new content series now that we're in January of 2020. How did that happen? Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> um, so for the month of January, we're going to be talking all about the biggest industry trends um, for the marketing world that are specific to staffing and recruiting industry or just that are most important for your for your business as you guys are looking to just grow your company and define what success looks like for the new year. So a really exciting time for all of us. And this week specifically, we're going to be talking about social media. So the biggest trends in the social space that are going to be impacting um, you as an organization. So Kelly, why don't you start us off with number one? So number one, you've probably seen this in your newsfeed on and off over the last few months. LinkedIn launched an ATS. So it's interesting because what we're finding is that they may not be as positioned to compete with staffing and recruiting mm -hmm. agency ATSs, such as a Bullhorn or a Crelate or a PC Recruiter. Uh, their positioning is more focused on enterprise companies like a General Mills and helping those talent acquisition teams get in front of the right talent. Of course, there, there are ATSs that cater more to that, we'll call it client or corporate side. So that's what we're seeing in their positioning. So it'll be interesting for you as recruiters to engage in some of those conversations as you're working with HR departments with larger clients that now they're using that as more and more of a resource. So we'll see how that develops in the months and quarters to come. Yeah, absolutely. The next update is the LinkedIn teammates feature. So you may have seen this, you may have not, but long story short, it just allows you to link your personal profile to the personal profiles of those people that sit on your team working with you every single day. So it's a huge opportunity for staffing and recruiting firms mm -hmm. specifically because if someone stumbles upon your personal page, now they have the opportunity to go see your direct manager, your VP, direct reports if you have any, and it just helps to increase the credibility of, wow, this is a big recruiting team with a very talented group of people working on it. I trust them. You know, those types of, of things that people are gonna think when they stumble on multiple profiles within the same organization. So some serious low hanging fruit right there. Absolutely. So also on the LinkedIn train, because they made a lot of updates yeah. within the last few months, uh, really last year, actually. Yeah. They focus on events now as well. So if you, as a staffing or recruiting association, excuse me, staffing or recruiting agency, if you're hosting an event, uh, like a workshop, whether it's for clients or consultants, whatever it might be, now instead of having to post that event off, like on something like Eventbrite yeah. or wherever that may be. Or your website even. Exactly. Yeah. You can actually post it on LinkedIn and people can register right there. It'll show up in their newsfeed when they uh, add themselves to that event. And so it's just good exposure from a media standpoint. Yeah. And it makes it that much easier that if your audience is already on LinkedIn that you can get them engaged and rallied mm -hmm. in that way. So that would be something interesting for you guys to start using from your company page. Yeah. And it's very similar to Facebook events. So mm -hmm. you can create unique events and host them on your Facebook page. Now that functionality is there on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So, and then last but not least, live video is still in beta testing phase. Um, it will be rolling out to the public at some point this year. LinkedIn hasn't announced what that drop dead date is going to be or a hard deadline, but um, be sure to keep your eyes peeled and we'll keep you posted as soon as we hear that that is open to the public. But in the meantime, if you want to apply for live video streaming um, privileges, you can apply on LinkedIn's platform. Mm -hmm. um, and just to clarify, that is different than just native video, right? With what anyone, we're doing right now. Yeah, anyone can post native video like this one is right now to their company page or their personal page, but specifically we're talking about live video. So to stream while you're actively you know, engaged in a seminar or at an event, something like that that lends itself well to live video. So those are our biggest trends for the social space. Be sure to tune in with us next week to talk about the next biggest industry trends for 2020 and how that will affect you know, the bottom line of your business. Um, reach out to us on LinkedIn personally if you have any questions or visit parkamarketing.com to learn more. And we'll see you next week.